What is up, you two? <clears throat> Drinking all day, thinking to myself, what can I do for a video? All the stuff that my alcohol is a tiny bit of peppermint schnapps, but everything else has been good and drinking up. Nom, 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 nom. So I take these avocado slices and I want to make these sons of bitches into french fries. Trying something different here. Some people might be like, if they don't like potatoes, but they like avocados, and they're like, I don't know, can't make french fries out of that? Wow. Huh. If you can deep fry these chunks, you can cut them into smaller pieces and make french fries out of them if you want to, but I didn't feel like cutting them into french fry shapes. I just took an avocado, cut it in half, and then dug the seed out in the middle. <laughs> I stuck the avocado halves and the vegetable oil and turned the stove on to high. Let's see if we can't make some dankness right here. Uh, you can kind of see the avocados are just sitting in there and doing their thing, you know. Let those sons of bitches cook up. Deep fry some motherfucking avocados just to see if we can uh, make some dankness or what. But chances are, we definitely make some dankness. I go and figured it out, YouTube. My can open is a piece of shit and I might have to get a new one. I get this motherfucker out. Just so I get these motherfucking cans open. down there and stab that can with this here knife that'll get it open nice and quick all those deep frying get tasty anyway yeah it's got to be the the uh, can opener I've had it for a while it's old and so I might need to replace it I'll take some of these those pliers get in between those cracks and fucking peel this son of a bitch open we're gonna have ourselves some beans to go with our deep fried avocado fries. And do I give a fuck if these beans are cooked or not? No, not really, YouTube. This is better than sitting here for 25 minutes going, Oh, I can't get the can open. I'll take these pliers and peel this son of a bitch open.
I get a fork, we can eat them beans. Nom, 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 nom. I reckon I'm gonna replace the bloody can opener. This will open much easier. Yeah. So kind of munching out some beans and some deep fried avocado fries. Yeah. Give a fork here. Let's give those a, mi a minute more to deep fry. We need to make sure those avocado sauces come out nice and crispy. Nice and crispy like a french fry. Alright, so let's dig into these beans, yo. As drunk as I am, the fact that I pulled this shit off, let's see. Yeah. These are good beans to eat when you're drunk. I should be way too shit-faced to be performing these activities, but... Like a ninja. Now, if I avoid some serious shit here, don't touch the top of the can, and we're golden. Is that motherfucker in shot? Probably gonna eat half this can of beans and then eat me some deep fried avocado. Yeah. Mm. Nice little protein kick right here. Hmm. Well, it's half the can. I'll save the other half for later. Because then these deep fried avocado sauces are going to be done before you know it. If you can make french fries with potatoes, can you make deep fried avocados into french fries, basically? I, I didn't cut them real small. You see what I'm saying? I cut them to this size right here. Although, if you've been drinking a shit ton of alcohol, you should not try this at home. Yeah, says the guy who's drinking a shit ton of alcohol and totally trying this at home. Let this cook for a bit longer. Now, you didn't see me cut the avocado on camera, but you did see me at least throw them in the deep fryer. Eat half a can of beans. I'm like, when you do, when you do when you're hungry, get yourself a snack and, you know what I'm saying, like protein kick and all that shit. There's another glass right here. I could definitely pour some more of this in here. Cooking videos, man. I 
And this peppermint stops a strong shit. You don't need that much to get drunk. You see, I didn't pour it that much, but about. Yeah, that's more than enough right now. I'm pretty schnockered. Drink pretty much all that alcohol for myself and down to the fucking bare minimum here. Yeah. Mm -mm. At one point, I mixed Mountain Dew Pitch Black with A and W Root Beer, Peppermint Schnapps, and Chi Chi's Mexican Mudslide. All in the one bloody cup. That shit was damn good. Like you could use a Mexican mudslide to make some pretty dank group here floats though. Get some NW root beer, some Mexican mudslide, some ice cream. Really all you need. But if you wanted to step it up a notch, fucking add some of that alcoholic root beer that comes in the six pack, but it's in glass bottle. Tastes like childhood root beer, but doesn't taste like alcohol kind of thing. And you mix that son of a bitch up in there and with that Chi Chi's Mexican mudslide that ice cream and that regular root beer. And I tell you what, that's a damn good drink right there. I don't even try it, but I already know. Yeah, I made root beer floats with my Mexican Chi Chi's mudslide drink. And I didn't have the alcoholic root beer, but I did add just a little bit of ice cream, just some A and W root beer and some Mexican mudslide, and it's a good combination, you know. Once I got done drinking all that shit, I'm like, well, I gotta start working on this, don't I? Yeah. I've definitely consumed more than. The legal limit. <laughs> Just trying something different with these. Look, there's gonna be a way I haven't tried prepping these just yet. Make some deep fried avocado. That shit just sounds kind of dank, if you ask me. I've had an avocado on a bacon cheeseburger, and that shit was good. Now, there's a couple of awesome fast food joints here in town, one of which is the hamburger stand. <coughs> Excuse me. You go to the hamburger stand and get yourself a bacon guacamole cheeseburger, and this is wherever they have the hamburger stand. Hey, excuse me. No, oh, god damn it. Uh, you know, wherever they have the hamburger stand restaurants, you get yourself a bacon guacamole cheeseburger, and they are at, you know what I'm saying? We're cooking in front of this fryer. I'm a little bit sweaty at the moment. These are looking pretty damn good, though. Just a little bit longer, I think, so they'll be done. That's what I like to do on my channel, is try out new things. If you can deep fry those avocado slices, then making them into a french fry shape and then deep frying them is no problemo. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely had enough alcohol to drink. Holy shit. Avocado is supposed to be really good for you, so I thought. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can make something that's totally good for you, totally unhealthy. Yeah. 
Alright y'all, I'm gonna put you in the pocket for just a second so I can serve up these avocado um, deep fried chunks. Sweat my brains out, I'll get my drink on, but uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put you in the pocket, so I'm gonna sit you next to the plate. Five big slices, turn that back down to zero, let that cool off, all right. So this is our deep fried avocado. I'm not sure how it's gonna taste, Joe, but I reckon it'll taste pretty dank. I'm gonna flip these over so they're all like that. Put a little bit of seasoning up on these motherfuckers. These are looking pretty good, but we need some dipping sauce. Dip, dip, dipping in sauce. Dip, 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 dipping sauce.
watch how I got our dipping sauce. A little bit of salt, a little bit of paprika, whole lot of ranch. A little bit of salt, a little bit of paprika on them. Deep fried uh, avocado slices. Yeah. It's looking all kinds of good right now. Let's get a little bit. Let's stir that around. It's just so pretty hot, yo. <coughs> This right here. Oh. This right here is some good eating. Hot. Like I can rock with this, yo. Deep fried avocado slices. Ooh, it's hot as fuck outside. I sweat my brains out. But I come to you with a cooking video. And I tell you right here, this shit's dank. This shit dank. Mmm. These are cooked just right. These right here, you deep fry these sons of bitches. Mix up with my french fry recipe. You got yourself a nice appetizer. You got a plate full of deep fried um, guacamole slices and deep fried french fries. Yeah. I try out new recipes and uh, this one works. I should have waited till those cooled off, but I was eager to try this. I'm gonna let these last four really cool off, yo. Yeah. Some of <coughs> pour some of this sauce into the cup just like that yeah see what avocado seed used to be pour some of that ranch in there that ranch has a little bit of seasoning in it of course So plenty of ranch to dip them in if that ain't enough, but would you look at that? Yeah, I've seen a friend of mine do this. He deep fried some avocados and he cut them into french fry shape. And I'm like, you know, I might just try this recipe out, but make it just a little bit different. Mm. 
And nobody told, nobody told me that deep frying avocado was delicious. Mmm. Yeah. That deep fried that just right. The outside crust's got a nice crunch to it. Watch out. This right here, this right here is some good eating. Mm. Uh, extremely messy, but fuck it. Look at that, YouTube. Does that make me a ranch hand? Okay, that joke was really bad. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm definitely not sorry for this delicious ranch that I made. Oh, you threw like two seasonings in there. Yeah, you know. Take it with a grain of salt. You don't have to try this recipe, but... If you haven't tried deep fried avocado, I personally think you're missing out. I mean, this shit is so goddamn easy to make. Yeah. Mm. Personal taste, man, that's what it's all about. Some people aren't going to like this recipe, but I think it's dank. You know, if I had some crawdad and some sardine, I'd stuff it up in there with that ranch and all these little bastards would be delicious, even more delicious. But this ranch, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, this ranch sauce is doing, bleh, this, ra <coughs> this ranch sauce is doing all right though, this ranch sauce, this ranch sauce is doing all right. Mm. Now, if I wanted to go straight up or d'oeuvre status, I cut cut these in half and deep fry them like I did, and I fill the insides with clam, some um, sardines, and some crawdad, and some of this ranch sauce, and um, exclude the shell of the clam. Put like a little maybe a spinach artichoke on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can make these look so fancy. Mm. One of my buddies was kind of showing me how to make this. And I'm like, you know, I got to try this when I get home. <sighs> I did go for quite the bike ride earlier. It's why I'm all sweaty. Mm. But, um, yeah, would I make these if I had a date coming over and, and 
Nice little appetizer for the, to the main course. Oh, fuck yeah, these are good. You like avocado, you like ranch. I mean, you could stuff these avocados with anything. Once you deep fry them, I mean, you could stuff them with cheese and a little bit of sour cream. You know what I'm saying? Like a, the little pocket on the middle of the avocado. That pretty much leaves you to whatever the fuck you want to put into it. You want to put a little bit of sour cream and cheese, you go for it. You want to put a little bit of steak, oh, you definitely go for it. You go for it, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got nothing else, deep fried avocado with a little bit of ranch, you definitely can't beat that. That's the cool thing about trying new things for the first time, is sometimes you might discover something you really like. And this deep fried avocado is pretty delicious, I'm not going to lie. I'll be right back, you too. <clears throat> Some health conscious motherfucker be like, oh, I don't want french fries, you're too fatty and acid. Be like, you fry out some avocado. Some avocado. And they'll be like, the fuck is this? This is my good size deep fried avocado pieces. Just try a bite. Oh, uh, well, some kind of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't, all I gotta say to YouTube is don't fucking dock it when you try it. Presuming the phone can hear this far away. <sighs> After a fine snack like that, definitely want some pipe tobacco. It's about half empty on pipe. Give it a poke and all that pipe tobacco go straight to the top. Mm. Yeah, it's just a little <clears throat> video of me cooking 
drinking, having some pipe tobacco. You know, when I tried deep, deep fried avocado for the first time, I'm like, you know, this ain't half bad. And then I kind of did my own recipe with it at home, and I'll tell you what, that's good eating right there. That's easy as hell if you got some vegetable oil and a pot to cook it in. It's a lot easier than trying to make guacamole, I can tell you that much right now. And for those of us out there who didn't want to make just a little bit of guacamole, you can always, like I said, and like I showed you, you deep fry your avocado, and then you can stuff your avocado like you'd stuff a potato, stuff it with whatever you like. You want to make a pizza avocado, after you deep fry your avocado, fill it with some piece of sauce, some cheese, and some pepperoni. Microwave until the cheese is all gooey and you're good to go, man. It's certainly a lot healthier than <clears throat> some deep fried foods. I don't know if making it deep fried automatically means that it's unhealthy, but either way, shape it, I'm kind of glad I learned how to deep fry. A deep fried avocado, that's something I never would have thought of trying, but I'm glad I tried it because that right there. You can make some fancy ass hors d'oeuvres with the deep fried avocado. Ooh. People are like, you want to tour of the apartment? Well, you pretty much, you've seen the kitchen. I mean, that's pretty much it, <laughs> as far as the tours go. Nice little space to record music. And of course, record videos. The fact that I had that much that much mortar skill while as drunk as I am is something to be admired. I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but goddamn, most people when they're this fucking drunk have no mortar skills at all. Me on the other hand, I'm like, let's make a cooking video. Sometimes the inspiration to make a video can come from the simplest of things. You see a couple of ingredients in your kitchen and that idea sparks something inside your head like, I wonder if I could cook that and make it into a video. And then you just go for it and sometimes you strike out. The mac and cheese video turned out really well. Now this deep fried avocado video. <clears throat> mm. Like I would take some sushi and decorate the inside of the 
deep fried avocado. Oh, that'd be real tasty. Put a little bit of wasabi sauce on the top, and then you pour some of that was of that soy sauce on top of that before you eat it. Oh, dude, that just sounds dank. I generally like avocados, you know what I'm saying? Like guacamole is really good. And then trying them deep fried for the first time, I'm like, you know, I gotta make a video about this, man. This is some good stuff right here. This is normally where I film videos. I sit in my, uh, <clears throat> my chair here and, uh, yeah. I get to smoke my pop tobacco, but y'all have a good night, and I thank y'all for watching.